This is our getaway cabin. It's so cute. Campfire kit. Hey yo, did you get stuff for s'mores? You forgot, didn't you? Damn. Wow, look at the, I know right? No, for real. No, it's like perfect though. The bathroom, the shower is back there. Bro. Oh, look. Do y'all want to see a live example of the universe? Oh, s'mores on us. Oh, <gasps> shit. They gave us a s'more kit. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that is so funny. funny Cell phone fun. lockbox. For a true escape, forget your phone inside. We're definitely doing this. I'm turning my shit off right now. Oh, bet it up. Uh, we got the vegan marshmallows. <gasps> they already they gave us vegan, vegan ones. Vegan marshmallows with the Yo, okay. I'm, I'm okay, bet. Let's get settled. Let's get settled in. So, we're going to put our phones away in the lockbox. We brought everything inside and now it's time to officially unplug. My phone is like about to die anyway, so bet. Yeah. We should put it up here. <laughs> Just so you can reach it. I don't feel like I'll grab it, but you know, you never know. Ah! Okay, so we're about to unpack right now. Oh my gosh, I haven't vlogged in a long time. Oh, look at this view though. Trees. It's so funny because it's like, I feel like when we're in here at night, especially, it's going to be very like surreal and feel like we're not like in danger but like really like in nature but we're also not you know what i mean yeah so i don't know yeah let's we're gonna settle in and i'll update you guys later little update av making food she got the salmon burger um we'll be eating these with hawaiian rolls <laughs> and um and um bar well we make them into little sandwich little sliders um but they're super good I am about to, oh, here it goes. We're also lighting an incense over there. I was thinking about lighting some sage. Let me turn this AC back on. Um, but I'm about to start playing with my singing bowl. Or playing my singing bowl more appropriately. beautiful like I am so happy to be here this is nice I feel like this is the type of thing you should do like once every month like once every month like maybe just end your month off with just like a retreat just get away like just get away not sure if you guys follow me on uh, any other social media platform, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. But recently, I have been very vocal about just not wanting to really be a part of society, not wanting to be a part of like the whole shebang. Like, <laughs> I really just would like to get away from all of it. And I feel like this was just like the perfect thing. It really, really all came together. Um, oh, I'm not sure if I've told you guys, but the reason we're here is because AB is turning 19. I, I wonder how many of y'all are surprised about that. <laughs> Cause I think that's gonna be super funny. You guys thought that I was like way older than what I actually was. Um, but yeah, she's literally 18 right now. So it's her birthday. She's a Virgo, August 28th. So we're here. Sersky. I heard you can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> Birth out of 28, nigga. Young nigga turning <laughs> up. Young nigga growing older. More life, more everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so happy right now, nigga. This shit beautiful. 
Bro, this is hard. Like, mm. home, it, get away, sponsor me, cause. <laughs> oh God, like, I'm about to make this shit look beautiful. <laughs> so while we're out here, it was really just my goal to <laughs> remove myself from the current situation that is the world um, as best as I can. And this is a really great thing. Like, this is just, this is super dope. I think that in moments like these, I feel very in my element. There's nothing or no one around to judge me for what I do or say. There's no technology to influence the way I feel about myself or the world. It's just me, the wind, and the trees. And that is good enough. The next morning when I arose, I did some stretching, said my affirmations, and wrote in my journal. The prompt read, what are your fears? And I wrote, my fears are of being unsuccessful on my own terms. I fear my brand not selling out, my safety as a well-known person, not finding the loft of my dreams. I fear my desire to control everything in my life. I never realized how hard it was for me to trust until recently. It's not like I don't believe my manifestations will come true. I just want to know when and how they will come into fruition. I must let go of that desire. I am a little more every day, but that doesn't mean that it isn't hard. My ego is trying to do all it knows how, and me not letting it is different for the both of us. But every second of every day, I am getting better, and I am excited to be letting go in general. It truly is an enlightened feeling to do so. Yo, what's up? We doing a little cooking this bitch. Uh, we did not bring enough food, so. No, don't say that. We just didn't know they ain't had no oven. No, on oh God. So, change of plans. I decided we're gonna make some birthday pancakes out of cake mix. This shit, I have no idea how it's gonna go. I hope it goes good, but it should cause it's just a pancake, you know what I'm saying? We have no measuring tools. So it was just like I have to divide this shit by three. Cause we don't even have enough eggs to make the whole thing. I'm not trying to make the whole thing. How many thing. eggs are you using? One. Oh. So I have to divide it by three. So yeah. <laughs> Can we dance? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Wait, give me your other hand. Oh, I guess that works. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna eat some fruit. Mmm, yes. Because I wanted some of your mangoes, your Jamaican mangoes. Bro, it was like the way it was, it was pre peeled. What? Like it was pre like peeled what? in a jar. What? Yeah. So I was where? Like, it was in my fridge. I was like, cause I thought they just rock the mangoes. So I'm like, yo, my mom, where's the mangoes? She was like, it's in the fridge. And like I'm like in the fridge. And like you know how like black people just be taking like a fucking jar. Well, like it was supposed to be like a fucking a salsa peanut. jar. No, on oh God, uh -huh. it was like a peanut jar just filled with like skinned mangoes. I'm like, why does she skin the mangoes and cut them up? <laughs> like I don't know. I don't I'm want these. Pre touched no, the mango. Fondling these mangoes. Like, I don't want that. <laughs> yes, that's what I was thinking too. I'm like, ain't no one just getting a fork and going to town. Oh god, I just go to <laughs> Except for your mom. Like, cause she made this shit for no, her. Oh god. Like, that's why she did. Bro, your mom is a menace, bro. Like, she be like, she, she be subconsciously doing shit. Yeah, like, like, oh my god. I think they should have her like a beach. Me and AB have actually had like this challenge. Um, we kind of bet, told each other that we weren't gonna look at our phones. Like, like not even just, well, of course not look at our phones, but like look at time. 
So like we've really kind of just been going based off where the sun. Can you hand me a napkin, gotcha. please? We've really just been going based off where the sun is um, during the day, and it's been great. Mm -hmm. Um, like it's very interesting because it's like when you're out here, you really do know what time it is. It's like we're we're stuck always like looking down on our phones to decipher ah, uh, like what exactly the time is, but like. For one, time doesn't exist. I'll talk about this too. But um, it's like very, like you, you, your body rises and falls when it's meant to. Like when we were up last night, I really felt like we were going to watch the sunrise because like, and honestly, I was kind of paranoid about it being the next day because I really didn't want it to be. No. But <laughs> um, especially while we were still up because I very much enjoy it like the time at night. Um... But yeah, like we didn't see it. And when we, after we were about to go to sleep, I looked out the window and I seen the moon was like high in the sky. And I was like, bro, it might be like midnight, right before or right after. Like, wow. And I don't really think about it. Like the sky is going to look different here because it's, we're in the country. Like, like honestly, I think we didn't even fall asleep that late. Like we probably thought, like, oh, we fell asleep at like four a.m. But like, yeah. basically, it was probably like one. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, cause, yeah, cause like. When it got dark, man, when it get dark in force, it's dark. Like there's yeah. no street lights out here. And it was like dark around like what eight, bro. And the sun starts to set around eight. Ah. So what are we doing today? We are doing a lot of shrooms. Um, going to find a creek. Going to take pictures. I feel like this shroom trip is probably. I don't want to trip hard as fuck and really just. There's a lot of questions I've been going through my mind. I'm in kind of in the space of transitioning as everyone else. So I feel like that is gonna help me. And yeah, it is so nice out here. I never realized how much like I could really live in like a tiny home until now. Cause like this shit lit as fuck. Just right up your alley. Yeah. And this bitch is on wheels. Mm. Like you could really just take this shit to go. Like. <laughs> <laughs> take it to go. No, for real. One walk out of the uh, shot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's just pretty as funny. It's like me? You like the director. So I am feeling great at the moment. We are on a strand called Cambodia. And um my lady hyped it up. So um uh, <laughs> she hyped it up. Um and I am it's a vibe. It feels so good out here. Like it feels phenomenal like look at the look at the leaves y'all see the leaves leaving like, i know y'all can probably see them moving behind me or whatever but um yeah like it just feels so good out here um so i'm excited we got on our jackets i got on my leggings my little workout leggings um and we're about to go exploring on one of the uh trails well i think it's really the only trail that's out here but i am excited this girl gotta hit the bong six times before we even go to the grocery store. So, yeah. this nigga. Y'all, we done walked right, left, down this long hill, looking for this little path. We done asked the people. Oh, shit. <laughs> at, the, at the front, you almost fell. We done asked the people down there at the little front desk where the trail was at. And they were like, oh, yeah, walk back up this hill. And it's literally, like, up this hill. I'm thinking the little path is going to be something like this. Y'all, what the hell is this? It says walking path. I don't know why I didn't expect this. And look at how long it is. This is how long the path is. It's super long, but it's got a, it's got a, a walk around. Like, it's got, like, a little 
loop de loop from when we were <laughs> loop de loop. You remember that from SpongeBob? Yes. But yeah, we're really going into the thick of it. <laughs> I'm excited. Update y'all, the trail is actually great. Like, <laughs> it's feeling great. It's it's looking great. I'm glad that we're not just constantly going up a incline because I would like to be able to have conversation with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Rather than me just trying. <laughs> Oh <laughs> the whole time but yeah so here we oh. <laughs> but yeah here we are up here in the woods vibing you guys we made it to the top of the trail the little roundabout we kind of thought it was going to be a clearing but i'm not surprised that it isn't because we literally are on a mountain AB is feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. I'm about to take some cool pictures of her. We got this fisheye lens. Super excited to use. Um, so let's get to it. So can you um, state your name and why you're here today? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I really like trees. What do you mean to like this sound that we're That's listening. Yeah, because yeah, we literally turned sound. around and looked over there at the same time. Cause I was like, I'm like, what is that sound? Is that an animal? But it's the trees. What were you saying? No, I was just saying the trees, their leaves. I like, I look at them like more of an instrument, mm. and they know how to grow based on the wind, and they can like. Hmm. Are you for real? I feel like they can, like they know, like the, they can work with the wind to make a certain sound. Cause even in like different places, like. It just sounds so different in different countries. Cause I know in Jamaica it sounds different. Bro, were you saying that Jamaica's like nightfall, like the nature yeah. is sound, it has an it's accent? Sound, yeah. I need to hear it now. Cause I need yeah. to know what you mean. Bro, well, I feel like I it's need everywhere. To I know feel what like you it's mean. everywhere. Anyone who's been like in other countries, like have y'all ever heard of like Costa Rica? I feel like, but I feel like what would cause it to be an accent is the fact that there are other kinds of animals and insects yeah, in true. the in the in the nature in the forest. Because we slept in the forest when true. I was there. But I'm I'm talking about that too. Because it's like it's really interesting how different animals have a different sounds and like like a bird. Hmm. Words words mm -hmm. ain't wording right now. Mm -hmm. It's like how different insects, like, cause like right now I'm like listening to like, I imagine a couple of insects, a bunch of trees and like their leaves like wiggling and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's interesting because it's like the same set, but like in Jamaica or like in like, I guess Indonesia or in the Bahamas or in Mexico, it sounds different. It's like, I feel like it's a different frequency, even just with the trees itself. Mm. Cause yeah, I could just give it to like, yeah, different insects cause they're different like species and shit by like, you know, where they live. Mm -hmm. like, uh, but like, I feel like if you strip all that down too, and you just listen to the trees, Feel like they just sound different well mm. maybe there's like different trees too like no not types. even that no because i understand exactly what you're saying because it's like their environment is different yeah. i bet the trees in other countries feel way more appreciated than the trees here in america oh no, that ass because it's like it's not like they don't communicate like humans are so like inconsiderate like we really act like we the only people that are communicating efficiently like even we acknowledge dogs communicate but we don't view it as nothing more than just ah oh, bark bark like oh. these niggas be having full-on conversations i think they don't realize like humans need to understand like niggas can talk in frequency like it's yeah because like for us like even just in the english language we could tell there's a difference just the way we like pronounce our words but like niggas could just strip all that shit it just be like singing it just ah uh. <laughs> <laughs> it just use frequency to talk to each other like you don't even need to use words or nothing yeah like, i think the english language or just language in itself is such a barrier for that yeah because if i could just look at you and just hit a certain note like a bird and not even and just you that you can understand mm -hmm. the whole conversation i wanted you to understand mm -hmm. Or like nonverbal communication. Yes, like bro. we are a, yes. a lot of our interactions are nonverbal. Bro, isn't it? I want to say, isn't it 
a dolphin that can communicate two languages at once? I th bro, it's like a dolphin. And like, you know, cause they have like the clicking sounds that do like yeah. under and then like above water that you can, they sound like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it turns out, them niggas have two That's different brains and they can Whoa. like, they yeah, can literally have a whole conversation. It's kind of like how in text message, how we could like talk about two different things and I could just like reply to that one and then we get to have like yeah, two different yeah. and, like, text message. Yeah. They could do that just like talking. But in like a have, whole like different kind of frequency yeah, language like, they would type. Just have one conversation just in clicks and one conversation and like the ee -e 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 -e. <laughs> <laughs> I feel stupid as fuck for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the bro. Like I was saying earlier to AB, what? I was saying earlier. I was like, I truly wonder what the trees think of us. Like, what they think of humans. I wonder what animals think of humans. But there's this documentary on Netflix, Night on Earth, I think is what it's called. But um, it was basically talking about like just just um, evaluating animals in their natural habitat like um, during the daytime and the nighttime and it was so interesting it was very in informational but um, like the what what animal was that sea otters like how during the day they had to like transport to and from like different locations but at night it really messed up their um, their traveling back home because the city lights were so bright that the predators like sharks could see them from uh, underneath oh my god what are you doing girl she's trying to climb this tree but but sharks could like see them from underneath the water and could just surprise attack them so they had to like have a strategy or really just kind of go off faith that like yo like we gotta go home like at now so I don't know, like it's just very interesting. I really wonder what they think of us because oftentimes I really think about like how animals, like I really think of like animals the way that we think of slaves. Because no, like, because remember when you were like, I feel like American trees aren't appreciated. I, when I thought of American trees, I think of slavery. I don't know why. They're slaves. Yeah. Like, because at any point down. in time, they can just yeet. Like. They're literally getting grown to chop down, pretty much. Mm. So it's like that's what it's the doing. same way animals are raised to be slaughtered. So cool. Raised to slaughter. Imagine that living to dying. Like you were created for the for the benefit of someone else. Too many of humans, like you know, actually live lives like that. But like even like when you take that aspect away. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, raised for the benefit of someone else. Yeah. Like, I mean, with abusive parents, with oh, abusive family members, oh, foster kids. Yes, or like just how how they like grow like hoods, how they purposely Bruh. Grow, like. Bruh. Oh, one she, neighborhood. She told, <laughs> She's getting into it right now. She's 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 got a podcast episode on her right now. She really about to lay that thing on me. Bro, Yo. I, that's it. No, but talk about it. Like, you like. I remember seeing like clips of like I don't remember what the show was called where they would like leave those nice cars open the doors yes, open and running. Bro, I think wait, it was one called Cops and it was, it was Cops, called, yeah. Uh, but I think that one, the Bait Car. That was a whole show. Yes, it was literally a whole show called Bait Car or some shit like that where they would leave a nice ass car in a fucking hood and they would just like record them taking the car and shit. And it would be so like, and it would actually get them arrested. Like, yeah. Like, what the? Fuck? Like there was uh, I don't know how recently this was, but they left like a big like Mack truck of like sneakers open in the hood where all these like kids seen it, and they like, like arrested a lot. Like, bro, like, what? You don't have anything better to do? Y'all can't arrest my assailant, but you can. You got free time to do this? Like, what? I just, I've got a problem. I've got, I've got a couple questions. No, like, I've got a hell of I've got, I've got a couple questions. Like, who, who made this order? Bruh. It's like, it's like, when I see shit like that, it makes me think of, like, 
some nigga who owns a jail that needs a certain amount of heads in that jail to operate, he calling to order, hey, I need like a hundred new inmates. Or like That's some so chicken, weird. Because it's like, how, why? Why? That's so weird. Because shit like bait car, like that shit, it literally makes no sense. I, I keep trying to make it make sense. What is the point of that shit? Because like, if it was like a prank show, like you know what I'm saying? That's one, different. That would have been so different. Okay, I, I would. That would have been a lot that. better. Yeah, well, I would have been laughing. Like, okay, you can see the niggas who have no morals, who just want to take shit. Cool, whatever. But the fact you was arresting niggas and these niggas are going to jail and still have charges on that shit, it's like, nah. Like, nah. Bro. And, and, like, and it sucks because when we were like younger, order. when we were younger, I don't really think we seen the issue with it. We. Yeah, I thought, bro. I saw the issue from it from the jump. Really? It's like, yeah. Cause it's like, what the fuck? I remember thinking that shit weird. Like, wh why would you do that? But a lot of people just kiki and ha ha and at that, at that. Cause you know? it's like, I know the type of people that would actually take, mm. or would actually be in that situation to where it's like, they now really I don't gotta, have shoes. yeah, they really don't mm. have like shit. Like, you know what I'm Transportation, saying? Transportation. Oh like. god, like they look, bro. If you see what, how much is like Air Force? It's like ninety dollars. Imagine you can make ninety dollars quick as fuck. No one's gonna like know about it and shit. You just, oh my god, it's a fucking open ass truck full of like three thousand pairs of Air Forces. You could just take one pair to feed your family, to feed like yo, like no, it's shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And most of them kids, you could just see it in their faces. That's what it looked like to me. Cause I could just see people's stories. Just yeah, and they, yeah, no, like, very much, very much not, so. It's not a nigga. The more I become self-aware, I'm able to do that a lot better, yeah, too. Yeah, like, I'm telling you, niggas who would, like, look at, like, Air Forces, like a whole truck or some shit like that, like a random situation like that, them niggas are not the ones that are making so much money to where it's like, let me just take this Air Force just to shit on niggas. It's like, no, it's niggas who need it. It's niggas who want it, like, really. Who have dreamed of having it. Yeah, like, who just, uh, that shit. Bro, what was the other? What was the other one? There's another show. Beyond Scared Straight. I don't fuck oh, with that really? show, bro. I don't really. Fuck with that. I really don't fuck with that show. What? What about it? Because a lot of times they're really just trying to scare kids, but not teach them, not like actually mm. mentor them and shit. Cause mm. it's like, don't go to jail. You gonna get raped in the booty and shit. It's like, nigga, like, oh my god, are you? Cause bro, if you know, oh my god. this is this is what you niggas need to watch. Like this is what I be watching when I see those type of shows. The backstory. The backstories be on some fuck shit. It be some parents that be on some bullshit. Don't be raising their kids. Be wondering why they wilding out. They daddy left the home. They mama ain't doing shit. So young Jamal fucking running the streets, doing all this type of yeah. shit. The mama's like, fuck it. I'm gonna just send this nigga to a fucking prison. Have this nigga scarred and shit. And don't they get paid from? Bro, I am certain. Yes. I am certain that they get Niggas, paid from bro, that. They get paid for that shit. And not only that, the inmates themselves get like time off. They like. Oh, are you for real? Yes, bro. yes. Like if you yes, you get. Bro. If you make a scene on TV. Yes. A lot of these niggas, they like, it'd be like some like light shit, like you get like a year or two off your shit, or like we get throw some, you know, money in your commissary and shit, for the niggas who, you know, they Just not wall get, out. Yeah. Just show, mm. Cause, bro, cause, and oh, and then think about, fuck, what, uh-huh. These kids end up going to jail. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, and then not even just that, but it's like, it really paints a, a picture to us, the viewer, of what prison is like when yes. it's not really like that. Yes. We were just, we were just talking oh. about that last night. We yes. were just talking about that last night. Like, them niggas are not every day just banging around in the cell, just hoopla and hollering no, oh for no reason. Yes. Like, a part of it, I would say, like, it's like 3% of that shit. But, like, if you really listen to, like... Podcasts of people yes. who have been in jail. It's so much more simplified. <laughs> yeah, it it's is. It's like the outside world, but with just more fucked up stories. Mm. That's all it is. With more fucking mental illnesses. With more fucking, like, just fucked up shit in there. And, but they have to solve that shit the same way we have to solve it every day. So it's like, why can't you let these niggas live in society certain certain niggas certain niggas because mm -hmm. I, I still think a like one percentage of those people they gotta say there <laughs> no yeah, they gotta say like, there. i just feel like they should just change the 
Like who who was the podcast I was listening to? It was Jay Shetty's podcast, but I think he had Bob Proctor on it. Mm -hmm. If I am not mistaken, I may be, but I I no, uh, my intuition is <laughs> telling me I'm right. But basically, he was he went through like uh um like being like helping prisoners uh, giving them talks and like he actually ended up like mentoring somebody like out of prison and like this was like one of the worst cases that he had ever seen that the prison itself had really seen and it's just like there there's hope for a lot of people you know some people no hell no i'll stay your ass in there but like you know sir there's hope for a lot of people and i like man it's just like the the, the honest to god statistics about prison itself we really can only fathom how many people in there didn't do it Online. how many people in there are truly innocent and it's like you really ain't even gotta look that hard to see that they're innocent and people be at a completely different place from the crime that happened and still be locked up for that crime like it ain't it, it, in many cases it's a you fit the description of a six foot black man like no, it, bro, hell no bro, it's, i'm telling you it's trying to put numbers in a book first of all we really need to discuss why the fuck is all these prisons are like private owned companies bro 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 they're private institutions bruh, honest, bro honestly oh and, and it's showed in the media like orange is the new black is literally a show i haven't watched that show <laughs> i have not watched that show bro i have not this watched it show. this is how the media be shitting on us because they will like put it in a story and we're so caught up in like the story of oh my god some lesbians are in love in prison and all that kind of shit yeah. but no one is talking about the fact that a it's like a in bro it's a private institution these niggas are really just trying to like put like numbers in a book and shit they really don't give a fuck like if you fit the description you fit the description like it's not is there's no morals to it they talk about that shit all the time there's no morals into like the justice system it's like shit it's business bro it's really just business it really is a business like, it, america really is a corporation it's bro so fun. like bro that's and it gets crazy as fuck that's insane that's insane it's like, really a business and niggas don't give a fuck because even in the prison systems itself like niggas will be bro niggas the officers that be in prisons be doing, bringing in all this shit. You wondering how? Oh yeah. Y'all be seeing niggas on TikTok, the prisoner TikTok, bro. And all them niggas, <laughs> bro. Yes. All them niggas have phones. Yeah. Okay, all the snacks. No, they have for real. All the utensils. The niggas, cookware, like, bro. bro. Well, they don't even be having cookware. Bro, they bro. really be. Brand new iPhones. They got iPhone. Like you X. seen them with that? I haven't seen yes, that. But I've like, seen niggas with like real ass phones in that bitch. Like posted up, like bro. all that kind of shit. Who's smuggling this shit in? It's the fucking whack ass officers. So it's like, yo, what is this shit, bro? What is it? Because it, it's it? not to be as taken as seriously as y'all have depicted. Like, like it niggas, really bro, isn't. You go to the right prisons. Niggas talk about. Like, if you know the right niggas, they will really bring in shit like cocaine. Up Bruh. to cocaine, bro. Because all you got to do is just fuck with a fuck with a police officer. Or, like, you know, fuck with young shoddy, you know. And have shoddy smoke that shit in for you. Bruh. Like, yo. Insane. All that to say, what is fucking prisons? What is laws, my nigga? No, what like, is it? Wait, really? Because, honestly, like, we really could. We really. Bro, and it's like, me thinking about like ah oh, what would life be if we didn't have rules and regulations is we like do. um no listen it's like um it's like a, um what's that what's that lord of the flies where all them little kids get locked get uh stranded on an island mm -hmm. and they start going crazy and killing each other with power and shit like that like mm -hmm. niggas just trying to take over but like it wouldn't be any order but it's like imagine being in the position of like a police officer or a, a judge and it's like you understand the the dirt you could get away with because you know there is no true order no for real like that that, that right no, there no, that old, that level of awareness because that's some scary to some, yeah, that's that's scary. Because to someone like me, it's like I can't even perceive that as an option. But to somebody like a white judge who d just don't be doing the best job that he could possibly do, like, can you imagine the level of entitlement? That's why they walk around like that, because their entitlement is just so un. It's 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 unbelievable. It's nasty, it's nasty as fuck. It's nasty as fuck. That shit really remind me of. Was it the 
Fuck, I forgot that nigga's name. It's the nigga that was just in Georgia. Nigga was just walking in an empty ass house. And like two niggas was just in trucks. Fucking, this nigga was running away, seeing niggas in trucks, like chasing him down with guns and like gunned him down. Who, who, wait, what? It Why? Was, who was it? Bro, it's a famous case. It was like Aubrey. Uh, Ahmad Aubrey? That. Oh. Yes, yeah, that whole situation was just fucking crazy. The fact that, like, I think it was like the district attorney was friends with the nigga who shot him. What, what, the dad of, like, you know, uh. So the niggas who shot the guy. The father, the old nigga in that tape, he is friends with a district attorney that pretty much like was fucking them over. I, bro, I feel like I butchered them. No, fuck it's okay. Story. I mean, we're both on shrooms, so oh, it's okay. I see what you're trying to say, but it's just. Mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the video right here. Uh, yeah, go listen to her podcast. Go listen to my podcast because this honestly became a podcast episode. And it was like I was trying to put the camera down and stop filming. I just didn't know when. <laughs> But we about to walk back down this hill. What? Wow, we're really in the woods. Like I didn't like for so Smoke long. I was wood. looking at like the the, the, trail. the trail, and I wasn't looking this. We're in the woods, into the thick of it. Around this time, it was towards the end of our shroom trip and we just decided to chill by the fire. I spent a lot of time closing my eyes and talking to myself, my shadow self, my um, regular self, my subconscious mind, just every aspect of me. I did this because I could feel that there were so many of my limiting beliefs and so many things about myself that I was just coming to terms with and I knew that it would be absolutely necessary and very beneficial for me to confront you know myself I kind of did a self-led hypnosis and it really helped me talk some things out reassure myself validate myself things like that it was very calming and the strain that we were on was really a really good strain actually I would definitely recommend that but yeah I really enjoyed this time especially because I felt very at peace it felt great to just be not having to worry about doing anything or being anywhere you know I was just simply doing all of that for myself grand rising to y'all it is the next morning and um, we're about to, we're getting ready to pack up. I'm about to take a shower and get things situated. Yesterday was fun. Um, honestly, it felt like yesterday lasted for a really long time. Um, it really did. Um, but yeah, after we made s'mores, we came back in here and, oh yeah, we, we filmed her first episode of her podcast. So, when she gets up, I'll leave a, when she gets that up, I'll leave that in the link in the description box down below but yeah so like i said we're about to start packing up and get a move on back to atlantaga that one i'm from oh oh my god <laughs> As we were packing up, it truly was a bittersweet moment for the both of us. Neither of us really wanted to leave, but we both knew that we had things to overcome in our home lives. Still, getting away for these few days did make a positive impact and we were able to look at both of our situations in a new light. I was physically and spiritually exhausted after this trip, but I understand now that that came from the immense shadow work and physical exercise that I have been doing while in the woods. I would truly recommend any and everybody to try this at least once every few months so that you can get some kind of mental clarity because we truly do take in a lot in our everyday lives. I am wishing everyone a safe and healthy September and you guys will see me in the next video. I think of the simulation kind of like on that Rick and Morty episode where Rick had a whole universe to like power his like uh, spaceship. Car battery, yeah. Yeah, his car battery. So it's like a whole civilization and they just think, well, 
They just it's chilling. It's our day to day. We just. Yeah. And it's like, even if we were being used for energy, are we doing a good job? Like, the Man. earth is really in shambles right now. Like. Who knows? This battery might die. You know? 